Welcome everybody back to SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. We're in the last part, did some karate and saved Sandy. Now moving on to whatever world is up next. Cassandra, please help! We have to find my house! Without that, I'm just a common talking sponge. Sorry, Spongy, I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart. Cassandra, will you please help us fix my house? Sure, right after we fix your friends, your town, the cosmic order of everything. Oh, my beautiful home. And a delicious pineapple. Here, why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the portal? Yo, Pirate Spongebob! Yo-ho! What be a pirate's favorite cheese? Oh, um, um... Pimento! Arg! I was wondering about that! Yeah, I know a lot about pirates. Ah, and now I use a hook. Oh, fingers crossed my pineapple is still in one piece. Um... Got the costume. Pirate, become the scourge of the seven sea. Seas. Onward to the next world. Uh oh. Pa oh my God, they're pies. But they they were made in a bomb factory. They're bombs. I wonder where I have to go. So, we already have Mr. Krabs. We already have... Sandy. So, I wonder who's... Who we're getting from here. Look for the pineapple. Under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbed in yellow and porous as he. SpongeBob SquarePants. His nautical adventures is something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants. So, flop on the deck. Yeah. No, so drop... Ah. So drop on the deck and flop like a fish. Oh, pirates. Oh. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. I dipped my peg leg in that water. You cannot run forever, but I will literally make you try. Prawn? Admiral Prawn? No. Attack or uh You know what if I don't have to fight you, I'm not gonna. I mean say goodbye. They're I mean, be fair, those those pies are bombs. Ah, so am I gonna- yeah, I'm learning how to use the- Now I can use those. Ah, the Flying Dutchman! With the haunting memory of me ghostly ghost. Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't scare a baby right now. Without me, ship, I'm just a pathetic ghost of my former self. Uh, Gosh, that's terrible. What happened, Mr. Dutchman? That son of a computer, Admiral Prawn, has stolen me, beloved ship. Wizard Prawn, huh. ahead. Never mind. It's they actually like brought Dutchman. Prawn back from Battle from Bikini Bottom. That's the only. That's the only SpongeBob media Prawn has been in. He's a boss in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Mr. Dutchman, sir. In any official capacity, at least. So I can get my pineapple back. I'm remembering around the clock at Bikini Bottom, and I believe you fight Prawn in that as well, but that game had a lot of references. But Prawn? And it was a fan game. Me precious socks. No pirate with their salt would follow a sockless captain. And if I can't round up a crew, we won't 
don't stand a chance against the Admiral. So, am I gonna be? Is Prawn gonna be a boss fight again in this you game? Don't need socks to be a pirate. In My this game, here has never worn socks a day in his life. I don't even have feet. So, if you need a couple of loyal sea dogs, Patrick and I will gladly join your crew. Socks or no socks. SpongeBob right now technically only has one because he has a peg leg. <laughs> and one thing, and I'll be honest, attention to the detail with the costumes. When SpongeBob walks around, it's one like sponge squish, sponge squeak noise, and then a uh, wooden noise because of the peg leg. All right, all right, but first, you scallywags, you must prove that you are real pirate material. To show that you are worthy, you must unearth a real treasure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Earn yourselves fearsome pirate names! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And find army sucks! I still want them back! Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Oh, even in the sand, like, it's a footprint and a peg leg print. Attention to detail with the costumes. I appreciate that. Well, I guess I could use a tan. But what if we get bleached and shrivel up? Sticky sweet. Guys, you've been sun bleached before, and you and we've it's been proven that that is the ultimate tan. Gee, I hope nobody needs a lifeguard. Ah, two pairs of socks. Okay. You're kicking too much sand in my mouth. I already ate some. Ugh. I only have one foot. Hmm. I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. I guess that's the last sock I'm going to be grabbing because it probably loops back around to the Dutchman. Sticky sweet. Or. I'm not going to use that just yet, because I do not want to run all the way back. Karate kick with a oh, he's not using the peg leg to karate kick. Hey, it's big like a beach bullet, bounce, you idiot. Okay, so yeah, looks like the surfboards are mainly for getting chili, which I already have like five thousand of, so. I think I'm good in that regard. <laughs> you can hold this one, Patrick. Okay. again to change the platform so I can get myself another suck for ye old Captain Flying Dutchman. I figured they weren't going to come over here. Over 
there, get that sock, go over there, get that sock, and then probably and I probably go over to that ship and continue forward. I can honestly understand why it's four instead of three, because you know you it's usually rule of three for video games, but it wouldn't make sense to get three socks. Might as well get four so that way it's two pairs. Even though the flying Dutchman doesn't have feet anymore. Cause he's a ghost! I wonder if we're gonna run into the other pirate crew from that one episode and that had the uh, the flying steam houseboat. You really are my best friend. Oh come on! And there's a doubloon in there. I get that doubloon. I uh, I get. More costumes. Wow! I can see the whole beach from here. Yar, curse this game and it's backtracking. Pirate ships come out at this time of day. Wow! I'm quitting my job and getting a surfboard. Maybe I was supposed to, eh, maybe I was supposed to get the first one that I got last. Now that I'm thinking about it. There we go. No more chafing. More underpants, cause for the life of me, I cannot have more than one pair. Point taken. So this was just a combat challenge? It's Larry the Lobster! Alright. Time to go rescue the buffest character in all of Spongebob, aside from, I guess, Spongebob on some occasions. Nope, a little dab will do ya. It's gonna make me go over there, then go over there, then... Okay. I see the path in which you're taking me. Gay! Whoa, right oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Really? Thank you, Patrick. No more chafing. You truly are a sponge's best friend. Oh my gosh! Real life pirate ships! I wanna duck! Ah, oh, new enemy. Ah, yeah. Take two hits. There we go. Now time to save- Oh, how'd you- Where'd you come from? <laughs> I'm always up for a sun bath, but if you could hurry, that would be great. SpongeBob? Patrick? You're here too? I thought it was just me and the anchovies. How did we get here? We can talk about that later. What's important right now is getting you and the anchovies and my pineapple back to Bikini Bottom. Hey, where are the anchovies? Meep. 
That obnoxious shrimp rounded us up and made his jelly minions stick us to shipwrecks all over the lagoon. He said we're not pirate material. It isn't my fault I have a severe eye patch allergy. Ha! <laughs> oh. Don't lose heart. Why? Larry. We're going to rescue every bikini bottomite who's stuck here, or our names aren't SpongeBob and Patrick the the pirate guys. That's not a very fearsome pirate name. Ah, uh, we're working on it. Thank you, SpongeBob. I'm going home to tan and pump. Okay, so less someone. I guess it's not really one specific person. In this case, it'd be Larry the Lobster. Ah, oh, now I can do this. Uh, anchovies in SpongeBob's house. Ah! That swamp looks kind of eerie. Like the kind of place you'd find pirate ghosts. If I had another, if I had another pirate-like costume, I'd probably switch to it, but I do not. And I kind of want to stick with the kid with this costume because it fits. Spread your wings. Twelve anchovies? Oh. Oh boy. This oh wait. There you go. Huh, the music stopped. Don't know if that's a bug, or if it was... Sticky sweet! It's gonna put me all the way back, isn't it? I swear, if I was gonna overshoot that, I was gonna be pissed. Hmm. There's a bunch over there. Some bad guys over there, and then a couple over there. Bring on, big boy. Oh, seriously? A little dabble do ya. What's over here? Ooh, music. Finally. Drunken sailor, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Wait. Oh crap. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> okay, platforming challenge. Patrick, if you were a lamp, I'd give you a glowing review. Ah. Uh. Yes, got the doubloon. More costumes. Oh, and it literally just warps me back. All right, let's see what costumes we got. Action. 
action hero. Ready for the bubble fight. <gasps> Ghost! <laughs> now all we have to do is make my head round. Shave me down, make me round. Oh, deck swabber! Let's get the deck as shiny as a penny. Okay, I might get that and switch to that. Because it's, it's a different pirate costume. And then Goofy Goober. We're all Goofy Goobers, yeah! Uh, how, f how far am I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, one more checkpoint and I'll switch to the Dex Wobber. I'll get and switch to the Dex Wobber. Early in the morning, way hey, up she rises, way hey, up she rises, hey hey, up she rises early in the morning. Drunken sailor, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter early in the morning. I'm kind of just remembering bits and pieces of that sea shanty. Spread your wings. All right. I need four more, and they're all over here. I play the range on the hooks. Oh, new enemy. So they're thwomps. <laughs> yeah, they're thwomps. I'll get to you in a second. There we go. And there's my ride. Sailor, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Is a in the I'll bet if we dusted off these wrecks and hoisted his socks up their flagpoles, it would look like the Dutchman has a whole armada that everyone would know he's back. SpongeBob, that's a pretty good plan, but flagpoles don't have any feet. How are you gonna get the socks on? Very carefully, Patrick. Let's go. Achievement unlocked. Bamboozled. Start hoisting socks. Alright. Hoist away! Mash the axe button, laddie! The ship is ours! We did it, Patrick! Now let's find the others and become real pirates! All we are is socks in the wind! I thought I was getting another enemy, but nope, it's just the surfboard. That's just for jelly.
So what's that? What's back the other way? Oh, into that giant sandcastle. Finish collecting socks, and now we're back to the rule of three. That innocent jelly is not so innocent. It won't let me collect these. Now it will. Sorry, nothing person order up. Well, there's another doubloon that I probably can't get. Cause I don't have what I, I don't have that. I'm assuming face plant ability. That's back where the anchovies were. That guy's back now at a lower frame rate because he's out in the distance. Same as those guys over there. <laughs> I hit the. Oh, that's neat. Left, uh, left trigger can also ground pound. Good to know. For some reason my brain clapped out and pressed the left instead of right trigger. Sandcastle. Must be where the king of sand lives. Combat challenge. Oh, there is a left over. <laughs> Way of the sponge. Here you. Take care of you. Grab some health. Grab no more, more health. Taping. Get back to max health. Now I can explore around a bit. Ooh, more jelly. I've got so much jelly. That actually makes me wonder. Okay, no, I haven't hit the checkpoint yet. Okay, making sure. Hmm. 
Might as well see what's over here. Yeah, just tiki's for money. No doubloons. Nope. No doubloons. Die once, and you lose all the music in the level. Seems a little rude if you ask me. Okay, so that's the sock. This is literally all for jelly. To buy more costumes. Order up. Hmm. That way's kind of the return trip. So I guess I gotta go back out and around. Got to go as the game wants me to progress. Pinza Rosa? I knew it, but why? Avashi, before ye stand to notorious pirate captain Pinza Rosa. <laughs> I need some Pinza I can't I mean, roll. The crew I can't can roll ours or Z. Share me treasure. Hi. I mean, wait, no, yeah, I meant treasure that time. Oh boy, treasure! Right. Well, you seem deserving and present. Now, to share me treasure, you'll first have to get it out of an old shipwreck. It ran off course and hit some rocks in the middle of the lagoon. Someone who was totally not me must have been holding the map upside down. Anyhow, I would get the treasure myself, but <laughs> I'm far too rich to do a crewman's work. Of course. Lucky day indeed, Patrick. With that treasure, we can prove we're real pirates. Technically, you won't be, though. I can't be bothered with the bureaucracy of registering a new crew. Or paying for them. Will we at least get real pirate names? Sure, why not? Then we're ready. But, um... Oh, checkpoint. That should... Yep, that's the fourth checkpoint, so... Okay, my game. I thought the game crashed for a second. I was like, oh god, no. Deck Swabber! How to glide. Oh, neat. Ah, that's how those ships... I'm not gonna be able to make it! That's stupid! You do care! Oh. Well, at least there's background music. So 
I'm happy about that at least. The balloon! Off in ye distance! I need to get eight now for the next set of costumes. Spatula all the way over there. I still don't know what those are for in this game. I don't, I don't, I don't think the game's ever explained what the golden spatulas are for. I just find them and grab them and know that they're more or less a reference to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Talk to the mermaid in a second. Golden spatula first. Priorities, Patrick. Ah, found a shortcut. Still don't know what those are for. Nah. God, why? Why? <laughs> Pardon me, miss. Why so glum? Uh, because I like totally lost my joy, and without it I can't sing, which is like totally not cool for mermaids and stuff. Maybe it's in your fridge. Whenever I need joy, I can always find it in my fridge. The last time I had my joy was like when I was like dancing with my girlfriends, but they're not like here, and even if they like were, there's no music. But music is everywhere. All you need are some instruments in your hands and a little rhythm in your heart. SpongeBob, let's make some music. Then maybe we could go on a dance date. <laughs> Sure, like oh, friend. okay. Uh, I promised myself I'd never date a balloon again. <laughs> so I'm like way more into dating pirates now, anyway. What about balloon pirates? Come on, Patrick. We can find <laughs> Poor Patrick. Around that we can use as instruments. Then we can serve up some music. <laughs> I don't get it. A little dabble, do ya? Ha! Okay, so... Orange, orange, blue, red, green, orange. Okay, now what? You helped me, even though this was like totally not your problem. To show my gratitude, I will grant you like a wish or whatever. Give me a, a give me eight the balloons. I wish that SpongeBob and I could reach the treasure on the grounded ship so we could become like, you know, like like totally date worthy pirates. Ah, oh, poor Patrick, he's trying. Like have a safe flight, my melodic. Oh, this was progress. Just realized. I thought the I thought I was hitting up some side stuff because I saw the golden spatula. Uh, that just takes me back over there that I've already been to. This constant air travel seems a little unsafe. And you're telling that to Patrick, who is a balloon. my head even as a sponge that hurt
Lost treasure. The balloon. We see regular treasure when we find it. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I see how it wants me to do it, but nope, nope. Ah, okay. So slimy. I tried at least. Okay, spots around here somewhere as well. That's good. The balloon. Okay, there's the treasure. Spots over there, I take it, because I saw some other flying. There he is. Precocious little scamp. A little dabble, do ya? Uh, this is not how I get to spot. That's how I get to spot. It's a good thing they point out the... It's a good thing they at least point out the obvious when he's nearby. Oh! I thought I made it! I know where he's at, SpongeBob. I'm trying to get to the wee pop. Uh, okay. So I gotta get this tilted up, and then I gotta get my but all the way to the other side of the boat. The crab pizza is the pizza uh, for you uh, and me. There we go. Huh? Wait. Oh. So wait, how many doubloons are on this level? Eight. Okay. And so far I've seen like four. Two I can't get, one area that I haven't been to yet. And... Hmm. Don't know if there was more or not. Shiver me timbers, you're alive? I mean... Welcome back! You truly earned your pirate names! You really gotta stop doubting us. You shall call yourselves... I don't know. Whatever you can think of. Hey, you never said there'd be thinking involved. I have a mermaid <coughs> to impress, so you better make good on your promise. Come about with that volume, air-headed lad, before you alert the lagoon guard. They're a ruthless bunch who'll stop at nothing to get their fins on me treasure. So, of course you'll be compensated for all your thinking with this beautifully crafted treasure chest. Contents not included. Wow, the chest is the best part! Anything you put in a treasure <coughs> that's chest... That's a SpongeBob quote treasure. for you. <laughs> let Gary sleep in there. That's the best... That's like the best out-of-context SpongeBob quote. Wow, the chest is the best part. Okay, fine. <laughs> But I still want a cool pirate name. Ah. And the doubloons right over there. A little dabble do ya. I gotta sneeze. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. that prawn guy to blast over the doors for us. That could have been way harder. Okay, looks like I gotta raise more flat, more socks. 
Continue hoisting socks. Ooh, the miracle of monster birth. God, getting bombarded by Pi while also having to deal with these enemies. Shibri! There's a balloon up there. Then I gotta go over here and then rooftop platform all my way back. See how I platform to the other rooftops. Oh. Okay. A little dab will do ya. Boom <laughs> What the heck hit me? Alright. I'm getting to this doubloon before I die! These dusty old cannons still pack a bunch, no? I just... Oh, I was going to say I had to concentrate on that one. There we go. Oy. Constantly getting bombarded is a pain in the arse. I'm telling ya. I didn't even have to fight those guys. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Uh, hmm. My curiosity wants me to go back and keep exploring for a second. And my curiosity got me killed. Okay, it put me back here. So I jump down there, go around over there. Going on the path that I guess the game intended me to go on. Okay. I just I was just curious. Don't worry, be shout at any birds of bloods. Peace. I see all those ships I gotta raise the flags for. 
I am not nearly as done as I was thinking I was going to be. Please get more underpants. Good. It's doing this for like all of these. Starts at the top, scrolls all the way down, then I gotta do the I gotta mosh the ox button like a son of a gun. Thank goodness for you, Patrick. Come on, big boy. One more. Come on. Come on. Doubloon! Okay. I see the doubloon, and I have a pretty good idea on what I have to do to get said doubloon. platforming for a wee balloon. It's always going to be worth it to get more costumes. back right up there. Incoming pie. Sticky sweet. <laughs> you know what? That was my own fault. That was my own fault. Not even gonna touch you. <laughs> kind of doing that myself. Thank God there is a freaking drop shadow. Oy. That helps out so much that there's a drop shadow. Especially for precise platforming like this. Uh, I'm 
sure you are. Sticky sweet. Crank it up, SpongeBob. At eighty. Bob, thank you, Neptune. <laughs> How did you get here? Fred? Eh, the usual. Magical bubbles, reckless wishing, tearing apart the very fabric of space and time. I won't bore you with the details. Just know that we are here to set things straight. Oh, good. These restraints are so tight, I can't feel my leg anymore. Ah. Uh, I, I was wondering why this guy had actually got a name. It was like, oh, he's the my leg guy because they did an entire episode based on that gag uh, i think your leg will be okay as long as you stay away from termites my leg! <laughs> his leg uh, modern spongebob episode one thing i'll actually i have watched some of uh, no. uh, modern spongebob and I, I can agree with probably anybody who grew up watching Spongebob in the early two th late 90s, early 2000s that it doesn't have the same feel. But one thing I give credit for is they at least tried to bring back some characters like uh, Bubble Bass and Doodle Bob. Granted, I think they fell flat with uh, Bubble Bass because in the Pickles episode, that they made him out, literally just this one-off character made him out be just like one of Spongebob's biggest rivals in the show when not when of course Spongebob's a friend to everybody never seen again and then brought back and then they may turn him into a total dork because literally the episode that they bring him back in aside from having him as like a background character but like when they finally made another episode based around bubble bass it was literally like oh yeah it's time to pay your tab and then Spongebob and Squidward chase him to his basement and have to LARP D&D. &D. They turn Bubble Bass into an absolute dork. Say goodbye. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Patrick. Doodlebub! Honestly, I think they did alright with the bringing back Doodlebub for, one, for another episode. Even though they didn't really need to, considering that even though Doodle Bob was another character that was just one-offed, uh, the conclusion for Doodle Bob, the Doodle Bob episode, was satisfying enough. Ah, uh, come on! Yet? Well, we do have a real treasure chest. The Dutchman Sock Treasure! Ha! <laughs> okay, yet yeah, those were the mermaids from that one episode. So you can be. Oh, I don't know. Square one! That's not fair! I wanted to be square one! <laughs> well, you can be. Square two? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> oh, Battle Sock. How I miss you. <laughs> battle Sock. All right. You're part of me through now. It'll be grueling, mind-numbing, and repetitive. Just like claiming a litter box. <laughs> Square one. Use the wind bongos and flying boats to get yourselves onto me, ship. Once on board, 
Hoist me last shot and fire the huge cannon. That should signal me old crew to join us and revel in the destruction of Ahem. the downfall of dismissal. The dismissal of Admiral Prawn. <laughs> Incoming pie! Let me show you how a real pirate uses these cannons. Yep. Steady sweet. Reach the Dutchman's ship. Yeah, okay, I gotta get to another bongo. What's up with these platforms over here? Oh wait, I gotta go over, hit the bongo, and then probably platform over to the other flying ship. That's probably what I have to do. Still kinda, it's, it's weirdly neat that they actually brought back Prawn, cause... I haven't, I haven't seen a whole lot of modern Spongebob episodes, but if they actually brought Prawn into the show somehow, that's weirdly neat that they brought in an original character from the best Spongebob video game out there to the TV, to the cartoon itself. dusty old cannons still pack a bunch, no? A little dab will do ya! But, I mean, if Prawn is still just relegated to the video games, I honestly have no qualms about that. I honestly love that he's shooting the pies from that from the pie episode in this in this game. That's that's clever. Okay, that's the Dutchman ship. That's the way back. Okay, got myself turned. That. Somewhere where I haven't been to yet. Call you the crying Dutchman, for you are a little baby. Oh wait. Yep. Just came back from there. Okay, I got myself really turned around there. Alright. Let's glide. And swing, I guess. And kiak! Yeah, you cannot tell me that these things are not based... That the spawner enemy is not based on the appetizer. Make sure I don't miss any more doubloons before I go into... The Dutchman's ship. We're taking back this ship, Prawn! And my pineapple! What's the matter, Rectangle Boy? Pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank. Bring it on, you one-off boss kick boss battle. The road of friendship, and that road leads right to Victory Town. So bring it on. We are very close to defeating Admiral Pond. The Dutchman will be so happy, he's probably going to leave our souls. Okay, so it's a... In other words, this is basically another wave battle. No more achieving.
get you! Ah! Nice shot. That's great. Ah. Take care of you. Take care of you. No more teething. Oh, they actually had SpongeBob Lee. No, not SpongeBob. They had Patrick Lee. 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 That's awesome. Even unlock first mate. Eh, too bad we don't actually get to beat up Prawn again. home sweet pineapple. Let's get you back to Bikini Bottom, huh? Next stop, 124 Cock Street. <laughs> nice job, Patrick. Wow, this is the longest loading screen yet. I was actually able to control SpongeBob there for a second. Oh, it was a can. Can it was also a can pineapple instead of an actual one. Shoo! My beautiful home is back. Home sweet pineapple. But it isn't home without Gary. Patrick, we have to find him. I can guess where he's at. What are you doing, Plankton? Get your charm off me, buns! Uh... Another out-of-context line. Sounds like Plankton and Mr. Krabs are getting along great. Uh, maybe I should check on them, just in case. Is this fast travel? That is indeed fast travel. Okay. I, think I, can get I see this. Just call me a flying fish. Nah. Mm. Got it. SpongeBob, hi. Oh, hello, little sticky note. All right. Well, before I jump down to start that whole menagerie, switch back to good plain old SpongeBob, and end things off here for right now. Thank you all for coming by to watch this. I really appreciate it. You all know the deal with the outro. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, and I hope y'all will return for the next video. Until then, everybody, have a good day.